Okay, so welcome back to part three of The Walking Dead. Last time we left off, um, someone died, not the best. And now we've just arrived in Macon, I believe. Let's see what unfolds now. Looks like I ran out of gas. Well, Always great. As far as we're going, then it's far enough. Indeed it is. I think this is where they said the Lee's parents were from. Oh, there's a drugstore. Assume that's the one. Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. I don't think anyone is friendly anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Oh Jesus. Go with a gun. Come to save the day. Shall seem to do good work though. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. She's the bitch of the group. It could be dangerous. Worse. In a few. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there <laughs> in a second. Um, in a minute. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Son of a bitch. One of them has bit me. Mm, no, he's not. Well, I don't actually know that. He wasn't bit. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with He's got one of the worst faces I've seen. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Look, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this. Can I reason with him? I don't know. Reason with him. Oh dear. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you shut the fuck up. They will find us and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like oh, I'm just gonna shut the cut off. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. No, I'm gonna grind your face against the sand and then throw you into a salty pond. Lee. You overgrown yeah. twat. Just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it there. But right now this guy's a complete there. arsehole. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Um. Uh, no, you don't touch that boy. Boom. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect 
in here too. You want to get violent, old fuck? Well, come on. Let's go. Let's go. No oh dear. Go, run, your dodgy leg. God damn it. Get up. Get up. Go. Run. Run. Quick corrections. Um, left hook, right hook. <laughs> Might not work on a zombie. Fuck um, mash the A button. Thank you. Man. Ugh, fucking bitches, man. Ooh. You okay? She go with the gun. Just great, thanks. Can <laughs> shoot on Lily. He's <laughs> dead, dead. Uh, guys. I'd be like the worst person to be near in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> if you did something that would affect me, I'm just gonna shoot you straight up. Don't care. Military still around. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was uh, oh, Dad! Ah, ah. Thank you. At least that shot him up. <laughs> I'm just gonna say silent. I don't give a shit. since we got here please try to get in there behind the counter where the pills are no shit yeah twat we'll get in there somehow thank you so much we need nitroglycerin pills please get in there i'll keep an eye on my dad everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful we could be in here a while i'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution you're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully. You won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Lily. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright. Let's have a look at the ATM. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Not very really much use of money in the minute, not gonna lie. Let's talk to Clem, see if she's alright after the attack. Anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. <laughs> yep. Parenting 101 right there. <laughs> Being good is good. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll find out. Tight. Okay. So you want food? Is that food? Energy bar. There you go. Food. You know that? I'm magic. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I'm a genius. Alright, let's open the office door. <laughs> a 
can't. I can't think about them. Anymore. Oh dear, that don't look too good. This is where his parents were long, I guess. Go to. Find anything? Interesting. <laughs> yes. Um. It's a photo of the family room, this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Boom. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Nope. No, but let's stick in the first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. We've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Interesting event. Move this, I guess. It's just the door we want to get into upon there, I guess. It's a walking stick. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you didn't have it. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. <laughs> she looked a bit too excited about that one. Things are getting scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Never always been that way. I bet my dad does. <laughs> okay, here we go. That face, though. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, nope. What, what do you perhaps do? I guess I can't even talk about them, so... Um, I just got a pick. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I have no idea. Because they're dead. Sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Honestly, best policy. Policy? Policy. I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. 
That's so sad. Let's move this thing. <laughs> That's not real honesty, but yeah. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. <laughs> no, these kids when they get bleed, they're just like that. Oh, I'm done. Amputate it now. It's the death. The death of me, that. It's a remote. Can I take said remote? Uh, let's take it. Let's go. Hawkeye. I have plastic for you. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Stop. Yes, please. I will stop wiggling it. Probably not making her happy. There, there. Come home and I'm not there. Let's just say they'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's weird to see the relationship between these characters like change and how she grows up. I mean, it's the uh, thing about this game I find. Most interesting to see in character development. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Someone should learn how to pick lock. Alright. Not sure what else we can do in this room. That's what I figured. Hmm, it's still power. Still lights up. Do I talk to her again? It won't seem. It seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not going to go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. <laughs> um, just don't try and... <laughs> Get, okay. get yourself caught there, eh? Might be a good start, really. That's for anything else. First aid, blah, blah, blah. Right, we'll head out. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Nope. <laughs> nope, he was just a bastard. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Yeah. I do not really want to talk to them, so I'm just gonna move on over someone I give a shit about. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Give him chocolate. Not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Let's talk to him. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know. So you don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? tight I suppose seems pretty dangerous out there so we ought to wait for things to clear up you said your family was from here in Macon <laughs> this is their store where are they should we go looking for them they are in this place they uh, own this place they're gone oh sweetie cat they were good people I wasn't around much but yeah they did No, no, so I'm doing alright. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What you want to know? On Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. 
I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I think I'm a therapist now. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? Not his dad. What's up? Her dad, even. So I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the bowmen were about to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Just a lot of chug, you know? Alright, so we're going to leave it there for this episode, and then... Oh, we'll take this energy bar. In the next episode, we'll go out and go help Doug, hopefully. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Leave comments down below. Any suggestions or any games you want me to play. If you like personal finance or want to learn more to better your future, go check out EXO, link in the description. And then EXO Diving for more extreme sports if you're interested in any of that. Alright, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.